Okay, greetings everybody. I have the new Set Booster Innistrad Crimson Vow to be opened. Once again, you could be the lucky winner of whatever card you choose from this set. So we'll get straight into it. Um, it just came out today, where we are anyway. And remember, ah, a oh, box topper. Comes with a box topper. I did not know that. Cool. Okay, um, yeah, so after seven days, you just need to write down in the comments and subscribe what's your favourite card, and you might be the lucky winner. So let's get straight into it and see how we go. Okay, we've got our, oh, there you go, got an interesting art card. Okay, so all commons, are they at the back of the pack? Yes, we've got Alchemist's Gambit for our first rare and a foil common. Okay, so just remember all you need to do is write down in the comments and if you're lucky it could be yours in seven days. I will do a little raffle with everyone who's in there and see who wins. Okay, we have Gerolf, Gerolf, Visionary Stitcher for a rare and a foil common. Okay, so it seems that you get one rare or better and you get um, a foil of some sort is that correct okay there's our rare headless rider and a foil uncommon okay so it certainly looks like the way it is um yeah this is my first one in a couple of weeks this just came out and um, what do we got no mythics yet. We've got Halana and Alina partners. And a common foil. So I don't think there's anything yet to get too excited about. Wait and see. We're early days yet. Okay. Oh, It's a bit gruesome. Okay. Okay, we've got Path of Peril for your rare and a foil bramble armor. Okay. So far. So I'm not sure how these compare to the draft boxes. Um, or the collector ones. I just bought the set one. I think they're generally slight. Well, they have been in the past. Volatile Arsonist. That looks like a mythic. There you go, first mythic. And a foil common yeah so um yeah in the past anyway it seems to be the set boosters have been pretty much the best value for money so i'm sticking with that theory i mean i don't know if that's still the case splendid reclamation dormant grove oh and a listed card okay so it appears like some set boosters had a lot more rares and mythics than this one um, but at the same time, of course, if you're putting two or three rares in a packer, they're not quite so rare. So, really probably evens out. Um, Death Cap Glade for a land. Rare. Okay. Foil. Uncommon. Yeah, so... Um, the... I don't know what the EV is is of this box but i don't have a problem with less rares it just means they are actually maybe rare old rutstein for a rare and sketched art if that's what you call it hang on there so we've got two rares in this pack how does that okay maybe you can get more than one okay dominating vampire for a rare and a foil common so there you go i actually had two rares in that pack so okay you can get more than one rare that's the first time I think. I wasn't really looking closely before, so maybe... Yeah. Okay, Mythic. Maniform Hellkite. There you go, maybe that's the one you're after. Oh, or a Foil Rare. Hopeful Initiate. So if you're after one of those... Oh, and a Listed Card. Or Kish Lumberjack. Any of those cards, just whack it in the comments. And it could be yours. Okay, about a third of the way through now. Here we go. And we've got Angie, Maid of Dishonor for your rare. And a foil common. 
Okay. I don't know if anyone's collecting the art cards. I generally on sell my art cards, oh, and that one's even signed. Who knows, maybe that's the one you want. Put it in comments if it is. Um, but you get a bit more... Oh, so this will be a rare earlier on, I believe. Blood Vile Purveyor, like it was in the other set. So does that mean I get two rares again? It does. Dream Shackle Geist. So there you, you can get two rares. Heroes down for, for a foil. But obviously only one foil. Hmm. Maybe I need to do a draft box opening so I can just see the difference. Just out of interest's sake. Okay, we've got Vold Dare and Estate for your rare. And there's a foil. And another listed card, Juniper Order Ranger. Okay. So, haven't actually looked up to see which are the more collectible ones. Um, I do know... At the moment, anyway. Doomweaver for a rare. Breath Seraph for a rare. So we're going to have three rares in here? Yeah. So in the middle, you might get some extra rares. Okay. Pretty good pack then. Inspired Idea for a rare and Foil Common. Okay, so in the middle, there's sometimes some extra rares. <sighs> okay, uh, to keep track of. Um, yeah, anyway, I know at the moment one of the planeswalkers, if I pull it, old Rustine is one of the more sought after ones at the moment. Um, so that's really all I know as far as the collectability goes. Okay. And Dead Dreadfest. Demon, dead, dread feast, demon for your rare. So, I think this is their last set for the year, I believe. Until next year. So, their best set for the year, clearly Modern Horizons 2 by a landslide. Mirror Hall Mimic. Some of the others not very well received. Um, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms was apparently a real flop, which... I'm very surprised because I thought it was a fantastic set. Um, f excellent. There we go. Millicent, Restless, Revenant for your Mythic. In the middle Mythic. Middle of the pack, that is. Sundown Pass for a rare, another land, and a foil. Um, yeah, I thought Adventures in the Forgotten Realm was a really, really fun draft pack. One of the more fun ones they've had in a long time. But it wasn't very well received for some reason. Probably because it followed directly on from Modern Horizons, which was ridiculous. Ridiculously good. Um, okay. Toxil the Corrosive. So nothing could really compete with Modern Horizons. And another listed one. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm not sure if they've got planned for next year. They must have another commander set due. I would assume. Okay. Edgar Charmed Groom. For a rare and wing portent for a rare and a mythic not is it mythic listed I think so Heartwood Storyteller okay there we go and down to our last third let's see what we've got in here remember just if any of those cards you liked just whack them in the comments and you will go into the draw Falcon Wrath Forebear and Hullbreaker Horror for a Foil rare. Okay, there you go. Maybe that's the one you would like. There's more pack openings coming in the next week or so, so stay tuned. And Unbound World Oddity. Okay, and another listed one. Cannot make out. It looks like it's a red symbol. It's a listed card, Master of Cruelties. So I don't know whether that's rare, mythic, rare. I just get symbols like a red colour. That's very interesting. Okay. There you go. I might have to look that up to see what it is. But yeah, not sure. Never seen a red one before. Maybe it just looks red because of the background. Okay. Um, consuming Tide. For a rare and a foil. Rare Gerald Visionary Stitcher. 
Okay. Um, oh, getting down now. I think it's been an alright pack opening. I think I've got quite a few rares all up. A couple of mythics. Rare Curse of Hospitality. Foil Uncommon. Okay. Okay, and here we go. We have got Umbris Fear Manifest. That looks like a mythic in the middle. And Noll Knock, Roll Knock, the Omnivore. Okay, so you rare and a foil common. All right, let's see where we're going. Four to go, five to go maybe. And we have got a demonic bargain and a foil common. Yeah. Okay, the second set of the vampire theme. Okay, hallowed haunting for a mythic. Put it down if you want it. Vampire's vengeance. For a foil and a listed card. Stone Giant. Yeah, I sort of personally dislike getting the listed cards. I don't know why, maybe because they're a bit different. Mm. Okay. And we have got... By invitation only for a rare and a foil. That isn't rare, so probably not that sought after. Okay, seems to be a few less... Um, what do you call it? Art styles with borderless and sketched, and maybe they've toned it down a bit and doing a little bit less. Catilla Dawnheart Martyr Rare, which I'm all in favour of because it was pretty hard keeping track of all the different varieties. Um, yeah, maybe that's just me. I like things a bit simple. Last pack, everyone. Let's see how we go. Last pack. Do we finish on a great one? Runo Strom Kick for a rare and a foil. So there you go, guys. Just remember, write down your favourite card and subscribe. And in seven days, I will pick a winner. So good luck, everybody. Thank you.